See the red roof over there? That's the red roof of the Bartow train station. I just took pictures of it so you'll see it on the video. We're going to walk the line here from Bartow up to wherever. Uh, you can see the railroad back here. Uh, even through here I think was only one track. Might have been two tracks with a passing siding. We're going to walk and see where it goes. Looks like the deer use it quite a bit. Deer trucks through here. The rails were pulling out back in the 50s. This was a uh, branch of the Reading Railroad Company. Trees have fallen across the line many, many, many years ago. This thing was used. So uh, we'll see where it goes. Providing it doesn't get too many pickers. Hard to believe a train in through here. It's really overgrown. It's definitely wide enough for true tracks. I meant to say two tracks. It's hard to talk and walk at the same time. There's some talk of there might be a wide track back through here where they could turn the entire train. There's also some talk that there is a round table. Well, hopefully we might come across that. Oh my. Now we're getting some deep brush. I'll talk to you later. I started walking further because I could see where I was going on higher ground. Now, I don't know how many years ago they did it, but they took out the trussle that came across here. This does cross a creek. And there's no way I'm going to go down in there. So I'll have to try to pick up the trail on the other side. I see this or not, but it looks like I came across a work pit. Like there might have been an engine house here years ago for the railroad. I don't really know. I don't remember hearing of any engine facility back in here, but this definitely is a work pit. Because there you can see the stones lining the bank, and they're on both sides. You can see the pit on both sides. It's also a local dump area it looks like to me, but this definitely looks like a work pit. So maybe they did have an engine facility back here for at least one locomotive. It would make sort of kind of sense, but we will explore some more 
But this is a bit of a fine here. I don't know even if the running company uh, Texas tech Society might even know. But I will find out, I'll ask. Or some locals even, if they even remember. So we'll continue to walk the line here. I got to a dead end at the other end there. The bridge was taken out. I walked down around and found a mill race. Didn't take video of it though. Wasn't necessary. And I still couldn't find the railroad line. So some of it makes me think that uh, like after they re um, took it out of service, maybe the locals took the bank out like they did up at the Wanamaker's on the uh, Schuylkill Lehigh line. So, till then, I'll talk to you a little bit. found another pit. It's filled in more, but you can still see the rocks that, that uh, formed it. And it's right directly across from the other one. So this was definitely a two-track pit. So it was an engine facility here, along with the uh, foundation, which if I pan over here, you can see. There's the foundation, and goes up along there. And out there is the main. So this definitely was a two-stall engine house. Interesting. We'll continue to look for more. Till then, we're back online here. Looking at railroad. This is the extend of the Bartow line up past Iron Fordsdale Road. I was talking to a couple locals and they told me about the extent of the Bartow branch was here. And here's the tracks to prove it. This is on the actual Bartow branch of the Reading Company. And these are the rails, the track still in place on the Bartow branch. This would be nice if there would be an old train car sitting back here, but there isn't. Next best thing I can do is an old trailer. but. This is actual railroad. Railroad goes out through there. Tracks still in. Track is still in. I'm walking on track. It's overgrown, but it's still here. This is interesting. This is very, very interesting. See, there's track. More rails. Main still in here. interesting now. We come into a spot where you can really see the track and maybe you can't see it but I can. See it looks like two rails? It is. Here's the switch that goes under that spur that I was just walking down. This is a really interesting find. It's going to be even more interesting to across this ditch. Here's the switch for that spur and up in there somewhere would be the diamond or not diamond, a uh, frog for the switch. There's no way I'm going to get back in there. But you can definitely see this is the spur, or this is the bar tube branch, and it goes out through there. We'll continue walking. But this is definitely the switch. And there's the switch arm that went out to the machine that you throw to throw the switch. This is, I mean, this is really interesting to find this track still intact.
standing over top of the railhead here at the Culbertdale line. Uh, can you really imagine 50 years ago seeing a steam locomotive come through these trees?